when we create a frequency distribution, we first get a unique list of categories. Here's the text column. We have to extract from that a unique list. And then step two, we get the frequency or the count. Now, normally, we take text data like this, and with a few clicks in a pivot table, we create a pivot table report. But if your goal is to have a report that when you change the data and Great. hit Enter, it updates instantly, then you have to use formulas. Now, I have lots of videos about frequency distributions with pivot tables and formulas in my statistics class here at YouTube. But in this video, we want to see the amazing Microsoft 365 let function to create a single cell formula that will create our sorted frequency distribution. Now we're going to use the amazing let function, which allows us to define variables in our formula. The name for our variable will be u. That's because the first variable will create the unique list, comma. Name value 1, that's the formula element that goes with the name u. And we'll use unique. We'll highlight the whole column. Click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace to jump back to the active cell. Now when I close off unique, name value 1, that's the formula for our variable, and that's the name. Now when I comma, we're allowed to make a calculation or go on to our second variable. Now in parallel with a unique, now we need to create a column that has the counts. So we'll call this C, that's the name of the second variable, comma, the name value. Well, we're going to use count ifs with an S, criteria range. That's the entire column, control shift down arrow, control backspace, comma. And for criteria, because we need count ifs to deliver one count for each one of the items in the U variable, we put our variable right here, U. Because there's multiple items there, it'll instruct count ifs to deliver a count for each one of those values. Now we close parentheses. Now, so far in our formula, we have u and c, two variables. But now we need to mash them together because our final report needs the unique list and the count. So comma, the name 3 is going to be r for the report comma, name value 3. That's the formula to go with R. Now, anytime we want to mash two columns together, we use choose. And because we have two columns, an index number in array syntax, we type 1, comma, 2, close curly bracket. That means for choose as a lookup function, it's going to be forced to find the first and second item simultaneously and deliver them together comma, value 1. Well, that's going to be u. That's the first column, comma, value 2. That's the second column. So I type the variable c, close parentheses. Now, so far we have three variables. Just to see that we're on the right track, comma, now let's make our calculation. And I just want to see if the r variable is working. And now when we close parentheses and hit Enter, that is amazing. There's our full report from a single cell. Now, when we use spilled array formulas, any cell that's not the top cell will be grayed out. So if we want to edit, we go back to the top cell. Now think about this. Normally, we would have two columns. And if we needed to edit everything in the old version, the way we did it in the past, we'd have to edit this, copy it down, edit this, and copy it down. But now, from a management point of view, we have a single cell, and that's all we have to change. Well, we need to change this. We need the whole report sorted based on the count column, so F2. Instead of just R for our calculation, we'll use the sort function. Now, the array that we want to sort is our two-column report. So we put our variable R, comma, the sort index. It's the second column that we want the report sorted by. So I type a 2, comma. The sort order is from biggest to smallest, so we'll use descending, minus 1, tab, close parentheses. There's our calculation, the sort, close parentheses. And Great. when I hit Enter, that is amazing. A single cell frequency distribution sorted by count. And the beautiful thing about formulas is if we change this value, 
and hit Great. Enter, instantly it updates. All right, here's your bonus tip. Hey, we have three variables. If you want to make the formula a little bit easier to read, let's come right before the first variable and use the keyboard for a line feed, Alt, Enter. And then here's the second variable, Alt, Enter. Third variable, Alt, Enter. And finally, Alt, Enter, there's our calculation. Then when we enter it and come back later, F2, that is neat and tidy. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out these cool frequency distribution videos from my statistics class, which have all sorts of amazing frequency distribution tricks, check out these videos.